Hi, I'm Dave Sitton, Executive Director here at Wildlife Images. Right now we're in front of the grizzly bear enclosure, and this of course holds Yak, one of our female, our, our only female grizzly bear. And one of the things our bears, as well as other animals, have to contend with here is sometimes our very warm summers. And one of the things that we can do, or there's many things that we can do to help these animals cope with this warm climate. Um, in the case of the bears, we have lots of little frozen treats we can offer them. Here we have little ice cubes that are, what's in these ice cubes? Watermelon juice. Watermelon juice. The very finest for grizzly bears. They love things like this. And then here's another one. Frozen melon. They love, this looks like a honeydew melon, something like that. So frozen melons, and we have to be careful putting them over the fence so we don't conk them with them because they are pretty heavy. But she loves frozen melons. That a girl. Oh, look at that. She's snacking it right up. So juice sickles, we get in orange juice, things like that, that we get frozen into little sickles for the bears. So that's a great way to help them uh, contend with the heat. The otter, of course, otters are pretty adaptable, and she's got a big pool. She likes to go into the pool. We have fish sickles we give to the otter. We have a lot of tricks out here to help these animals contend with the heat. And a lot of these are tricks that you can do at home with your domestic animals and keep them comfortable even in the hottest of days. So if you'd like to have your kids exposed directly to some of these neat things they can learn about maintaining wildlife, they can come and join us at Camp Eek, running throughout the summer for seven to 11 year olds. It's a wonderful time for them to get first hand experience with the animals. And then if they're a little older than that, say 12 to 15, they can join our junior volunteer program, another wonderful program. They can find out all about how to cope with the wildlife and what we do and also you can help us with our kibble drive because right now we're collecting the dog kibble for our bears. These guys go through mountains of dog kibble every year and our kibble supply is at uh, almost a record low right now. So if you have kibble, we want just the adult dog kibble, not puppy chow, and we don't want uh, a bunch of the cat kibble or anything like that. But if you have extra dog kibble, we'd love to have that. So feel free to give us a call or you can log on to the KTVL website. That takes you to the Wildlife Images website. You can find all the information necessary about our kibble drive, how to become a member, or how to make a donation to Wildlife Images to make sure that we can sustain these animals in the way they need to be taken care of. So we'll look forward to seeing you again next time on another episode of Walk on the Wild Side.